Okay, in this video we're going to do two examples using integration by parts. Um, we're going to make substitutions and in one of them we're going to use a table. Uh, so the examples are pretty similar, but um, a little bit different. So we're going to integrate sine of radical x dx, which uh, when I look at it I tend to think can't be integrated, but that's not really true. Um, first thing we're going to do is make a substitution. So we're going to say that w is radical x, which means that w squared is equal to x, so squaring both sides, and then 2w dw is equal to dx. Okay, So before we even get into this problem, we're going to make that substitution. So if we do that, we get this new integral, which is just sine of w times 2w dw. And now what we're going to do is um, rearrange that and look at it. And this is something you actually could use a table on because the derivatives of w go to 0. Uh, but I'm going to do it just using straight up integration by parts. So I need a u, which I'll make w, and a dv, which is sine of w dw. So du is dw, and then v is negative cosine of w. Um, so remember, the derivative of cosine is negative sine, so when you integrate sine, you need to get negative cosine. Uh, now we'll make some substitution. Well, actually, now we'll just do integration by parts. So there's still a 2, and that's kind of annoying. Uh, so it's going to be 2, this giant quantity. Uh, uv, so w times negative cosine of w, which is negative w cosine of w, minus the integral of v du. So that's going to be uh, the quantity negative cosine of w dw. And then close that big parenthesis with the 2. Uh, so this is negative 2w cosine of w. And then uh, we're integrating uh, cosine, really, because it's minus the integral of negative cosine, which is plus the integral of cosine, and the integral of cosine is just sine, because the uh, derivative of sine is cosine, uh, but don't forget the 2 that we're distributing, like that, and then plus c, but then don't forget the original problem is not in terms of w, so we go back and we use this substitution, w is equal to radical x, and we rewrite our answer, so we get negative 2 radical x cosine of radical x plus 2 sine of radical x plus c, um, and that's the answer to that problem. So let's take a look at another example, which is kind of similar, but a uh, little different. So now we want to integrate uh, 1 half x squared cosine of radical x dx. I'm going to start by making the same substitution. And I found that 2 really annoying last time. That's why I threw in the 1 half this time. So w is radical x, w squared is x, 2w dw is dx. So let's change up our integral. So we get 1 half. Um, w to the fourth, because x squared is going to be w to the fourth, cosine of w, and then don't forget to replace uh, dx, so 2w dw. So the one half and the two cancel, and I get w to the fifth, cosine of w dw. And I recognize this as something I can integrate, but it's definitely something I want to use a table for. So uh, I set up a table, so I have u, v, and then uh, the sine, which is either going to be plus or minus. It always starts with a minus, so that's why I went minus slash plus. Um, so in the u column, I'm going to start with w to the fifth and then take derivatives. So that's just power rule all the way down to this. Um, in the v column, remember, uh, cosine of w is dv, but what I do is I start off with v and then I keep integrating. So the antiderivative of cosine is positive sine, and then I'm just going to keep integrating like so. So integrating sines and cosines, you got to watch out for the plus and minus signs, and then fill in this. So minus plus, minus plus, minus plus. Okay, so now uh, what I do when I write down my answer here, I'm actually going to substitute at the same time because uh, I don't want to write this twice because it's a lot of writing. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do, w to the fifth, which is really uh, radical x to the fifth or x to the one half to the fifth. So x to the five halves, and then sine of radical x. Now it's minus... And I'm going to multiply the two things in the next row of the table, which are 5w to the fourth and negative cosine of w. So I actually have two negative signs, so it becomes plus 5. And then uh, remember that uh, w is radical x, so if I raise it to the fourth, I get x squared. And then cosine of radical x. Now I have plus, but then when I multiply the two things in the next row of the table, I get negative blah, blah, blah. So plus and minus gives me just minus 20 make my substitutions. Okay, so now it's minus, and then now you just kind of keep going. So once you are 
aware of what's going on. This isn't so bad. Um, so we keep going. We get a minus here. Um, no, plus, rather. Uh, 120, blah, blah, blah. And then it'll be plus again because two negative signs. And then at the very end, we don't want to forget plus C. So that's the answer. Um, so this two examples of integration by parts. We're making a substitution before you do integration by parts. You can actually do this without making the substitution first, but it's kind of a nightmare. Um, making the substitution first makes it significantly easier. So I hope you found this helpful, and good luck.